Hey, welcome back. Uh, check the description box below for a link to Brando's Patreon, as well as a promotional video for the game he's making, and links to where you can get his and Dwayne's music. Uh, so, Zavid's gift. This thing sure is weird. It's is called a gun. Is that the thing Zavid gave you? He said that it's a tool that shoots out power. Yeah, and that's how he gets power to oppose the malevolence. So, if you shoot yourself, you gain more power. If you shoot someone with it, you sever their ties with the malevolence. So it's kind of like a bow that only fires arrows of pure energy, is that it? These bullets have that kind of power? Presumably. And this is the last one, huh? Looks like it, assuming we can't figure out how to make more. How about we take it apart and see if we can- No way. I know, I know. We probably wouldn't know how to put it back together if we did that. We need to treat it with care. It's obviously valuable. An arrow of force. We got the pew pew. We'll have to wait for nightfall to sneak into the castle. Why don't we chill at the inn for a bit? Uh, you always do things to make me spend money on you. God, just eat the corpses of your enemies. But then again, we don't kill anything, do we? Now, what was it? There was a bunch of... Ample, blah, 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 something daggers. Oh, yeah, there were the grim colors we wanted to, uh... And then there was the assload of fel feldspar daggers. Hey, at plus ten, uh, we could do whatever that one, like, ascension thingy was. What else did we get a bunch of? Fuck with that later. Oh yeah, you. I wanted to equip that. Apparently, at the Lord of the Land, you can do something with a plus ten weapon, but. Steak, Drago Stew. Eh, fuck it. Don't know exactly what that plus ten thing does, but well. The fuck? Oh. Convenient plot supply wall. Ooh. 
shall not pass or wander. Drugs. Come on, this is a big city. There's gonna be drugs around here somewhere. The drugs have shown that they regrow. I want all the regrowing drugs. I'm the shepherd! Woo! What's wrong with the shepherd? Herb binge. What could you possibly want at this time of night? Listen, there's a meeting between the church and the knights going on in the castle tonight. You understand the tensions here? Get back to whatever it is. Wherever it is you're staying, before Fork starts suspecting you of sabotage or worse. Oh, so the church is in there. Well, always looking for smucks to light on fire. Oh. But how are we gonna sneak in there? You mind if we go check out the, check the town up before we head to the castle? If we're gonna sneak in, we might as well scope out the area before we do. Well I would, but you see there's these plot walls. Cautious sweep of town, then we can get down to business. Good thing we did a cautious sweep of town. I found drugs. Performance, performance enhancing drugs. So what exactly constitutes a cautious sweep of town, though? Do I have to go to, like, the front entrance of the town? Maybe, eh, there's probably a sparrow feather lying around somewhere. Right here and now. 
<laughs> what exquisite anger! It makes me so hungry! Here he comes! That's the malevolence he admits is incredibly strong! You mean it's just like with the Cardinal before? But, uh, Don't think about anything else until we beat it! Got it! When it's go time, we go all the way. Overdo it, and you'll just exhaust yourself, Saray. New battle action. Damn it! Still not enough. Just kill him. It's the end of the line, Nar. No. Got it. What is this feeling? Watch out! There's someone else here! Might you refrain from acting out of turn? That voice! Shut up! Don't interfere with me! Foolish, reckless fox. Your role was to lead them on, if you recall. If you act recklessly and provoke his anger, what will we do then? <sighs> Wait! This wasn't the plan, but I'm flexible. Whoa! What the? Uh, hey, Dizzle. Wait. Oh yeah, hold the wrong button. Oh, I wanted to test out. You better go after him, or you'll lose him, girl. Surely you won't let him get away with such a vile betrayal. But that so-called job offer... It was a trap! Damn it. Quit messing around and show yourself! <laughs> What's your hurry? Relax. Opening this act. Is just the opening act. I'll relax when you're good and dead. Dazzle, do you know whose voice that is? How could I forget? That's who I've been after for so long. What? Opening act. We're going to the this, thingy. I have. There is no malevolence within this domain. Meaning that whoever's generating this isn't a Hellion. What could this mean? Oh no, he went to the church. Okay. Uh, this is an opening act. I thought it was, you know. Enough, alright? Come on! Let me out! His will is not to be ignored. Do I make myself clear? Yes. I'm sorry. Lunar! <laughs> I think Saray and Miklio would just want to kill him because he ate that Mason dude. What is going on? Rather productive for an opening act. What splendid anger you've shown me, girl! If it should blossom into hatred... Oh, but how happy he will be! Who is she? I've waited so long. Indeed, the time is ripe for both of us. Wait, Dazzle! She's not a Hellion! Like I give a damn. You turn my friends into Hellions and drag the name of the Wind Riders through the mud? What are you talking about, Dazzle? 
<laughs> Do you mean to say that the girl still doesn't know? <laughs> splendid. Oh, how splendid. <laughs> the perfect scene has been set. Jessel, no! Let me go. This moment is what I've been living for. Everyone stop. This whole thing is wrong. Saray, Dazzle, what's going on? Dear, dear girl, let me fill you in. In a desperate effort to preserve and continue the Windriders over his last concrete connection to his dead comrade, this Seraph abused your remarkable resonance to periodically commandeer your body, steering you all into the darkness, recreating the Windriders as an assassin's guild. <clears throat> then, in his quest to kill a Hellion, he set his sights on the power of the Armatus, using you over and over as a vessel to enact his vengeance. It was all right, he thought. It was all to avenge his friend. I do wonder if you agree. <gasps> That's right. And to take my revenge against you, I would do it all again in a heartbeat! That's enough, creepy little girl, for now. Yeah, there's something wrong about all of this. Let's get out of here! I think not. She became a Hellion? Why? If words alone won't make you remember. Well, like I said, I'm flexible. So, you show your true colors at last. Dang it! Okay. Fuse face. Oh, how lost you are in the illusion of self-affirmation. What are you saying? It's quite pitiful, really. Though I do understand how you got like this. Think hard. What was it that you truly desired? Back then, how and why did you lose your friend after killing a Hellion? What happens to its malevolence? Are you really so sure you want this to be your vengeance? Shut up! Try and remember. Was it by my doing that you lost your friend? What? Lila, get ready to purify her! Not this time. I'm gonna kill her! What? You mustn't! There's no other way. No! He's broken the path? Dazzle! Tisk, tisk. I can't let you do that. What? But why? Saray, this isn't the time! All right! <laughs> yeah! Again, I can manipulate the senses of others, deceive them through illusion. So when it looked like you'd suddenly turned into a Hellion, precisely. But for the record, the Hellion was real. Lord of water! Mm -hmm. Oh shit, mm -hmm. Break on through! Mm -hmm. Lila, use the authority of the Prime Lord to stop Death. I can't! The Sub Lord has broken the pattern! Can that even be done? Not usually! It can't be done from the Sub Lord's side! My, my, this is getting interesting. Ocean Flame! Mm -hmm. Lord of Water! My phone is ahead! Mm -hmm. The Sub Lord has you! Aim and fire! Straight down! And you're in the hole! Tell me what it is you're after! There is something you should know, Shepard. What? Let me show you exactly what mischief your Seraph friend has wrought. Break on through! Mm -hmm. Blue flame! Ocean flame! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Break on through! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All he did was merely give his blessing. That's all. But not every blessing of the Seraphim is one that brings fortune to the people. Finally! Finally, I can kill you! Die!
I really, really enjoy traveling with them. We're so lucky. Yeah, I'm truly grateful. And of course, I want to bring the Wind Riders under Rolens's wing. You're the greatest in the land. But engagement to you, Prince Conan? It's like a dream. I'm sorry to see our journey end, but all's well that ends well. No. I don't want this to end. Don't let up out there! Go! Prince Conan! The captain is missing! Get away from her right now! <laughs> Who are you to order me around? He's... he's already a hellion! Huh? Who are you talking to? You all smell so... so delicious! It's driving me wild! How could he have completely turned into a hellion in such a short amount of time? Your Highness, what is this nonsense about us killing the first Imperial Prince? Guards! The traitor scum are here! A trap, huh? You sick lunatic! How can this be? It appears that Brad, the leader of the Wind Riders, has murdered the Prince. He is already in custody of the Pendrago City Guard. All other Wind Riders are likewise under arrest. Understand? It's all because Prince Conan became a Hellion, and at the urging of his Hellion greed, he sought to eliminate all hindrances. And by now, I imagine that you've already guessed what made him a Hellion. Have you not? Him. I might be willing to pardon you, at least, if you'll agree to be mine. What? <laughs> oh, come now. You'd be the kept woman of the heir to the throne! A greater honor does not exist. <sighs> Why you? Come on! Your blessing. Do you have any idea what people call those with this kind of power? Angels of death. It was all my fault. All my fault. Looks like someone finally remembers his past. Rose! Jezzle! Move it! <laughs> and now the real fun starts, Shepard. Pay close attention. Uh. 
Oh, great. Rose. Dazzle, don't move. Got it? Why you? You mustn't! Rose is horribly wounded. Even if you purify the malevolence, she doesn't have the strength to handle the burden. You mustn't attack now. Rose will... What? If we don't do anything, Rose will become a Hellion. Except her wounds will kill her even before that happens. A shepherd is faced with difficult choices sometimes. Isn't that right? Better Can't even do quickly, it. Shepherd. Your darling comedian doesn't have long. Silence! I'm pressing the attack button. No oh, good. Sorry. I can't do it. Get back for a moment. I have a plan. What? The gun? Oh, Shepard, do quit your desperate flailing about. You risk making a mess of the grand stage I spent all this time preparing. Sorry. Listen. Dessel, don't push yourself. Just listen to me. We have to <laughs> sever the bond. Between Rose and the Hellion. Even for the Shepherd, that would be nothing short of a miracle. Gone. It's impossible. Sorry. Hand me that thing you got from Savid. It can fire strength itself, right? And I shall be that strength. I shall be your attack. What do you mean? Even as he is absorbed into the Hellion, he'll become an attack with a will of its own. He'll find the bond between Rose and the Hellion and sever it without hurting her body. But that's just suicide! If I can summon up the last reserves of my strength, and merge them with the power stored in this one remaining bullet, I can save myself long enough to break the bond. I'm leaving Rose untouched. Saray, neither Rose nor I can afford to waste any more time. <laughs> you understand, don't you? Jessel! No! And that's probably why Zavid has the same kind of attack. Don't mess this up. More to win. Strike. Well, wind armatures. Help. Yeah, we're going over on this one. Rose. I'm so sorry. It was me. I caused you, the Windriders, everyone to suffer. It's all my fault. That's what was bugging you? I suppose from the outside it looked like we were suffering. But as far as I'm concerned, these have been the happiest years of my life! Five years ago, when everything went pear-shaped, we could have been tossed to the winds. But instead, we got to travel again together as the scattered bones and the sparrow feathers. I was so happy! In fact, I'm grateful to you! Really! Hey, come on! There's gotta be more you wanna say! Maybe we don't lose him. 
I'm useless. In the end, I wasn't good for a damn thing. But I can say I did one thing right. Just one. And that one right thing made everything else worthwhile. I'm eternally grateful to you too, Rose. Thank you. Yeah! Tell Saray and the others that it wasn't all bad. Romping around those ruins with all those nutballs. I will. And if they get bummed out about this... Tell them, hey, I thought you had good to do in the world. Keep moping and crying, and I'll chain you up so tight you can't even breathe. And then, give them a good kick in the ass for me. Yeah. Good luck out there. Keep on keeping on. Huh. Guess we are gonna get Zavid. He is in the opening Rose. theme thing, so sitting with everybody else. Oh thank goodness. So, how does it feel? What do you think, Shepard? To be as infatuated with someone as he once was? Is it not right that Seraphim, whose blessings only cause misfortune, should not be allowed to exist? Was not his very existence evil to the core and deserving of extermination? Lies! You've got quite a bark, girl. Those are some plucky words from one who once sought to kill the Shepherd for the same reasons. <laughs> who are you anyway? A bitch. I am Simone. Like him, a wretched, pitiable seraph, burdened with countless sins. And no breasts. Hey, oh. replacement. And now, exeunt. Wait! I suggest you make time to grieve. Going way over time on this one, fuck. I told everyone to meet here tomorrow morning. Sometimes it's best to be alone for a while. Thanks, Miklio. Saray, don't worry about it too much. <sighs> I need a bit of a walk myself. Well, with that... I'm going to cut it here and we'll pick up again. Can't stop now. See ya.